how you receive your manifestations. Now, I don't know about you, but normally the universe doesn't say, here's a pretty wrapped present with a big bow on it. Here's your manifestation right here, right now, all completely delivered. Unless maybe if you're manifesting a pizza or maybe a ride to church or a book or a computer. I mean, yes, you can have instant manifestations where you actually, you know, just receive real time the exact thing that you're, you're looking for, an outfit, some shoes, um, a date, who knows, anything. But when you are manifesting something bigger, okay, so say you're manifesting maybe a house or a trip or a soulmate or, you know, the, you know, a lot of money, just the, the, whatever you're manifesting, if there are bigger manifestations, a lot of times it's just not going to go like, pow, lightning strikes and there it is. I mean, yes, I'm not saying that that doesn't happen sometimes because sometimes it really does happen that way. But a lot of times you get a little bit of this or something comes and then something else comes and you may not be seeing that this one little step or this one little piece that's given to you actually has to do with the whole picture you might just be seeing this one little piece and going i don't want this this is not what i asked for so let's just give an example here say you wanted to make like a ton of money say you wanted to make you know a million dollars and all of a sudden, you know, you're manifesting it, you're putting your thoughts to it, and all of a sudden, you, um, I'm looking at the squirrels, they're, I gave them nuts and they're all around me like, ah. Anyway, um, all of a sudden you lose your job, and you're like, how the hell is that making me a million dollars? The universe thinks a lot. I lost my job. I've been, you know, asking to be supported and here I'm losing my job. How can I live? You start freaking out. You see the worst case scenarios. You're thinking about, you know, how are you going to afford everything on and on and on. But actually losing your job is part of what you need to do to gain something else in order to make that money. Maybe a different job is, is, is going to help you with that. Maybe you're going to get some opportunity that takes you to another state or another country. <laughs> the scenarios are endless. My point is that when you are manifesting something, and it's usually if it's something on a larger scale, it's not just a thing like, you know, like I said earlier, but it's usually on a lar larger scale, the universe gives you little chunks at a time and what you need to do because you may not see how that can possibly fit into the scenario that you would like to see for yourself but the universe knows how to orchestrate things so down to the detail perfectly you have to trust it so what you need to do is start saying yes to every little packet every little thing that happens. Just start saying yes to it because get this, how do you know if it's the thing to say yes to? Okay, everything always happens for good reasons. That's how you know. Everything is always happening to, to, because the universe is working on your behalf. The universe has your back 24-7. So that means that everything that's happening is happening for the greater good of you. And whenever something seemingly bad happens, or if it's something, you know, you can't imagine how that could be helpful, it's usually the thing that's the blessing in disguise that is, if that didn't happen, then this thing would have never happened. I want you to look back in your lifetime. When were there times when something seemed like, oh my gosh, how could this possibly happen now? And then later you realize, oh my gosh, if that never happened, this would have never happened. Okay, I know that most of you probably have a lot of stories like that if you thought about it. 
So remember, everything is always working out for your higher good. So maybe you get in a big, huge argument with your boyfriend, or girlfriend, wife, husband, employer, and you, you're like, this is a bunch of crap. Like, you know, nothing's going right. Know that that part of that argument was there for a reason. Everything's happening for a reason. Everything moves into place. Every time something happens, it's shifting the energy. And remember, if you're manifesting something that you haven't had before, that means that you haven't been energetically lined up to manifest that. That's why it's never happened. So you have to remember that things are going to change and shift and it will rock your world, especially when you're asking for something big or something that you've never had before. It'll rock your world because the universe is trying to shift you in to the energies that are going to foster and align you with that manifestation. So don't expect things to go seemingly just perfect la di da di da not to say that things won't come that way but normally if you're manifesting something that you have never had before your world needs to shake up a little bit to get that energy aligned for you you can't keep doing the same things and expecting different results so if you've never had this before you can't keep doing the same thing expecting to get it now it doesn't work that way you've got to realize that if you're asking for big things big changes amazing changes in your life that you also have to be ready to make changes in your life if you want changes in your life you've got to be ready to make changes in your life that's the only way it's going to happen. So let's go back to how the universe gives you those little packets, little, little manifestations that are coming in a little at a time. You may not notice that all these little things are going to add up into this big thing. So you want to start saying yes every day to the universe. Yes, universe, I'm ready for this manifestation. I'm ready to receive this million dollars today. Yes, I'm ready. What does it take? Oh, I got in a, in a fight? Yes, I'm ready to receive this million dollars. Oh, I lost my job? Yes, I'm ready to receive this million dollars. Oh, I, I have to move out of my house? Yes, I'm ready to receive this million dollars. Oh, I have to go to Timbuktu? I didn't really want to go there, but yes, I'm ready to receive this million dollars in my life. You've got to say yes, because what happens is if you're not accepting the little things that come along your way so if you didn't accept this this one can't come and if this one can't come this one can't come and then the big thing can't come so you've got to say yes okay I accept that I'm gonna embrace this it is what it is I know everything's working out for my highest good you've got to bring on this positive attitude like you know what this might feel like total crap right now but you know what I know that this is working towards my highest good. I am ready. Yes, I'm ready for this million dollars. Thank you, universe. I'll take it. And then the next one comes on and it may not seem like it has anything to do with it. You know what? I'm going to accept this. You know, this person's leaving my life. I'm going to accept it. Yes, universe. I'm ready for this million dollars to come in my life today. Thank you. Just start saying yes to everything and thanking the universe and saying, I'm ready for it to come into my life today. Thank you. Yes, I'm ready for it to come into my life. Thank you. And I'm not saying it's always easy to say yes to things, but the sooner you can say yes, the next thing can come. And then the next thing can come. Because if you're resisting or pushing up and I don't want to do that or I don't, this isn't good, this is bad, no, oh my God, blah, blah. Every time you push, it puts a block to what you want. It can't come in. The universe has to do things to get it all aligned for you so it can deliver, okay? So the resistance and the pushing away and the arguing against it and the fighting up against things, that is not a yes. That is a no. And that's what you're doing. You're telling the universe, no, I don't want this. No, I really didn't want this. No, I'm not accepting this. And the universe keeps trying to put things into your pathway to make that shift. And you keep saying no. Well, then you're going to get 
No, you're going to get keep getting things coming your way, but you're not going to finish the process. Let the process take place. It's like as if you opened one of those presents, and you know, ever seen those boxes where you open a box, and then there's another box inside, and you open the box, and there's another box inside, and there's like seven boxes till you get down to the, finally what you're getting down to. It's like that. You have to allow the, allow the unfolding, allow the uncovering, the unveiling. And sometimes those things might be hard, and sometimes they might be great. But you've got to un allow the unveiling, the uncovering, the discovering. You've got to open up and just say yes to every yes. Yes, I'm just going to say yes. You know what, this seems like crap, but I'm going to say yes, universe. What? You're just devastating my life, but you know what? I'm going to say yes, universe. Thank you. I'm ready for this today. I'm ready for this today, and I'm saying yes. If you have any resistance, any push, any <sighs> tenseness, any fight, you are saying no. So if you want to see those big manifestations come to you, or even a little one, you've got to start saying yes every day to everything. Yes. Say it. You've got to say it. Yes. Get in the practice. Say it right now. Say I want you to say it out loud. Yes, universe. Think about what you want right now, right today. Yes, universe. I am ready to receive this today. Thank you. Yes. And then when something happens to you, yes, I am accepting this. I'm ready to receive my manifestation today. So that is my tip for you today. Yes. Say yes to every single thing seeming bad or good because the universe has your back 24-7 and is always working towards your highest good. The universe wants to give you what you want. It's begging you, but you've got to accept it and you've got to accept it in steps. Don't expect it to come with a beautiful wrapper and a bow and all you have to do is untie the bow and everything is there. It doesn't work like that normally. You've got to say yes to all the steps along the road. Be brave. Embrace it, whatever it is, and just know that everything happens for good reasons. So, I'm leaving you with that. Say yes, my friends. Remember, please, to like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Go on my website at cindyeiler.com and sign up for my free newsletter and updates. And I'll see you all later. Bye, everyone. Get inspired and live your dream. Change your life, set yourself free with Cindy. Yeah, join Cindy. Travel through Egypt, see the blue Nile, Sahara Desert, open up your mind. Have an adventure in the deep red sea. Get your dose of spirituality. Get inspired, live your dream. Change your life, set yourself free with Cindy. Yeah, join Cindy. Get inspired and live your dream Change your life, set yourself free with Cindy Yeah, join Cindy